Out and About is made possible in part by Mountain Shepherd Adventure School in Craig County, Virginia. Mountain Shepherd believes that every person can learn to appreciate and navigate the outdoors with confidence. More information at mountainshepherd.com. Hello and welcome to another edition of Out and About. I'm your host, Tom Landon. Today we are hiking the third of Virginia's Triple Crown hikes. Uh, we've already hiked McAfee's Knob and we have hiked Dragon's Tooth. And you can see both of those videos here on the Echo Channel if you like. And today we are doing the lesser known of the three, which is Tinker Cliffs. And our hope is to get there in time to see a beautiful sunset on this fall day. There are several ways to get to Tinker Cliffs, but really only one that's practical for most of us for a day hike. So we are at the Andy Lane Trailhead. Generally a little less crowded than the others. Andy Lane isn't a road, but a man who was a tireless advocate and trail builder who was honored by the Roanoke Appalachian Trail Club with the name of this trailhead. And this hike will make you appreciate the efforts of Andy and others, as it includes several bridges and countless steps made of stone and lumber that make the hike possible. The hike starts out flat with a few stream crossings before heading directly uphill, climbing 1,400 feet in elevation in the first 2.3 miles to where the approach trail joins the AT. The approach to the AT is largely on land owned by a local cement company and trespassing off the trail is highly frowned upon. And don't be surprised to hear some heavy equipment and loud noises coming from the plant on your left. Eventually, you'll get out of earshot and be able to just enjoy the sounds of nature. You'll pass through some cattle guards and might get a close encounter with a bovine, but after crossing the creek for the last time, you'll leave the flatland and head uphill. Your quads will be firing, but stick with it because it does get easier once you hit the intersection and the payoff is a million dollar view. So here we are at the junction of the Appalachian Trail. We've got about a half mile to the summit from here. And uh, I think we're gonna make it before the sun goes down. So here you see the two white blazes. And in case you don't know that, that means you're gonna take a turn at that point. And uh, whenever you see two of them, and the white blazes are for the Appalachian Trail, whereas the blue ones are for the feeder trails. As you approach Tinker Cliffs from the backside, you'll start to see some impressive rock outcroppings. At that point, you're about 15 minutes from the top. When you do reach the summit, you might want to stop at the first overlook, but one of the beautiful things about Tinker is that the trail follows the cliff face for a few hundred yards, so take some time to look for the place that you want to rest in solitude. We arrived with about 15 minutes to spare before sunset, so we found a spot along the cliff to take it in. Well, there you have it, the sunset at Tinker Cliffs, as advertised. Anyway, now we need to head back down. We've got our headlamps in case it gets dark, because it will get dark, and uh, we'll see you down at the bottom. All right, heading back down. 3.1 miles. All right, well, we made it home after a, about a seven mile hike up and back. I will say that the uh, hike back down in the dark, make sure you have a really good headlamp. And even with my really good headlamp, took a little tumble did a little damage to my hand, but everything seems to be working, so we'll call that a success. And with that, I'll just say, thanks for coming along, and I'll see you out and about. Mm -hmm.